Now where are we going? Blairmore. The Sinister 7 Ultra Marathon has a very special place in my heart. You see, it was the very first 100 mile attempt I ever made. And Michelle and I have kind of made Sinister home every year for the last five or so years. Even the COVID year, we still drove down to Crow's Nest Pass, even though the race didn't happen. And I had the opportunity to take Michelle out on course. We explored leg two and we explored leg six. You see, when it comes to Sinister, Michelle is always the bridesmaid, never the bride, in that she has been crewing me on the 100 mile efforts. Given my injury last year, I wasn't quite sure what this year's race season was going to look like, but after a successful 50K at the Diaz Vista, I decided I would give Sinister another try, but this time doing the 50 mile race. The good news with that was that meant that Michelle could do the 50K as I do not need crew for a 50 miler. This year we decided to make it a bit of an adventure driving down, so we stopped at Lundberg Falls as we came into Blairmore on the Thursday evening before the race. So this video, I'm going to document my journey in the Sinister 7 50 mile ultra marathon. I really wasn't sure how well my back was going to hold up after a whole year of not racing at all last year. So I was really excited to get on a course and give this a try. And I was also equally excited that Michelle was going to have an opportunity to run some of the course that I so love. So stick with me and we will see how I make out at the 2023 Sinister 7 50 mile race. All right, we are at the Travel Lodge. It is raining Thursday night. Two more sleeps till race day. Gonna make for some wet trails. After we got checked in to the Travel Lodge, we headed down to the Pass Beer Co. Brewery for a little pint and pizza, as was our tradition. Good, how are you? Good, good. Can you grab you some drinks? <laughs> After we ate, we headed down to Spry, the local run store, to load up on nutrition. And uh, they teased me a little bit about Absolutely. the amount of cameras all the clips. that I brought to bear. Might have to happen again. Nutrition shopping. After we loaded up on nutrition, we decided to go check out some of the transition areas and just get reacquainted with the course. It always makes for a better race day when you kind of know where you're going and especially when Michelle was going to be coming and trying to catch up with me after her race. It would make it much easier for her, just a reminder as to where we would meet up. I also wanted to go up to the top of Pass Powder Keg to get a sense of leg three, oh, yeah. which Michelle yeah, would be running, and maybe catch a little bit of the sunset. It was a gorgeous evening, so we thought we'd take full opportunity to take in as much of the sights as we possibly could. Friday was race package pickup, which is always fun. We get to check out some of the exhibitors, see who's sponsoring the race. 455. 455. You all right being on my YouTube video? Sure. Right. Hanging off your pack. Ankle is bad. Ankle equals no time. Perfect.
and catch up with some of our friends. The mayhem that is preparation. This is now somewhat organized. Drop bag. Extra shorts, extra shirts, extra nutrition. After we got all of our gear prepped in our room, it's time to head back down to the convention center, drop off our drop bag. All your stuff is dropped off. It's going. It's time to eat. Let's go. One of the things Sinister 7 does a really good job of is putting together an incredible pre-race meal. Profound. It's also a something great profound. time to catch up with <laughs> friends <laughs> who are from Edmonton. Here's my first yeah. experience. Yeah. And after a good night's sleep, boom, it's race day. We got up nice and early and headed hey, down to cheer feel? on the 100 milers that would be heading out at 7 a.m. Michelle's 50K started Woo! at 7.30 in the morning, and my 50 miler would not start till 10.30 that morning. How are you well, feeling? Good, really good actually. I had a decent sleep last night, ate well. And so I would have lots of time to kill on my own after I saw Michelle off. TA23 just leaving the car here for Michelle and uh, drop the extra GoPro off in her drop bag so hopefully she'll take it out on leg three. Good morning! Our friend Kirk had agreed to drive Tanya and I back to the 50 mile right. start How line feeling? from transition area 2-3. Ready as we're gonna get. <laughs> I hope so. Pumped. Pump, 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 pump. There is nothing like that nervous energy at the start line. Everybody milling around, trying to keep themselves busy, not think about the task ahead, visiting with friends, looking for folks that you may have known from races previously. The excitement in the air is palpable and I love it. Yeah. All right, do you have a mantra for the race? Don't fall. Just keep moving. Be Just present. keep moving. Be present. That's my mantra for the year. There you go. Be present. I thought you were doing the whole 50 with us, Brian. <laughs> Alright, we are a couple of kilometers out on leg four. This is a short section. I think it's about 12k. And then uh, TA45 out on leg five. And leg six and leg seven. Hoping for a nice sunset on night six.
I always miss this because I got my head down. So today we're gonna take it in. like four for the next five, six K until we get to TA five. All right, we're getting close. To TA four, five. the beautiful sound of the transition area. All right, heading out on Lake Five. Got a couple of bananas. Eat as we go. It's usually about here when I'm soloing when I start to think that I might be lost. Interesting to see how much of an actual incline this is. I usually do this at night and think I'm just tired. But it's actually a bit of a hill. in by my watch and uh, still on the flat on Lake Five. And it was at this moment that he realized he'd grabbed Michelle's poles. So she is out on the 50k course with poles that are way too long and I'm out on the 50 miler with poles that are way too short. Time to color code. Just about a kilometer past checkpoint 5A. Twenty-one K on my watch, two forty-two. fun to see this in the daylight. 
Little sunset jaunt around that mountain. three K in by my watch. So about 31 and a half. And a uh, little creek crossing got to fill up the bladder or the flask. Looks like we might be coming up to the checkpoint here. Nope, just a checkpoint tease. Two minutes in by my watch. Gives a whole new meaning to eat my dust. 34.7, five hours, five minutes. We stayed on these roads till we started to go down to transition so maybe transitions a lot closer than I think maybe I do not remember that last section at all. Oh my god, a mirage. A lake. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we did not go by this way last time. Now this is just a tease. Well, I just passed Soren. I've got 38k on my watch, and uh, he's overheating a bit. Oh, hang on, we got a wait. Well, that was kind of funny. Uh, I spotted the pro photographer up ahead, so 
I need to make sure I was running and not talking to the camera for that one. I was saying, I just passed Soren and he is struggling with the heat. So hopefully we'll get close to the TA. Hopefully you can get it sorted out before going out onto leg six. But yeah, this extra little bit has thrown him for a loop as well. Certainly did not expect this. Like that's the TA. Definitely come in, in a different way. Yeah, Thank you. Oh. Stuffing my face with banana bread. Heading out on leg six. I'm a few minutes behind Tanya. And uh, yeah, I had the good fortune of having Janelle and Kirk there. To crew me. Janelle's run the Moab 240. She is quick and knows what she's doing so what a pleasure that was. Looking forward to seeing Michelle at the next one. See you. Yeah, fine with that. All right we are in the lake six. I got 45 and a half K on my watch but I started about a kilometer late. What do you got? 47.2. 47.2. This is my new friend Harold. Where are you from, Harold? Rosetown, Saskatchewan. Nice. We're just talking about all the elevation he gets to run in Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh, he's getting it all crammed in in one go here. Fun, fun. We are, you know, we get probably a couple of clicks until we turn up and start climbing. We should get to checkpoint 6A. I think it was about 10K out from the TA. And then we start to climb. Yay! But I think we will get a nice sunset up at the top. We're close to it anyway. All right, we'll check in with you later. Hello! <laughs> How's the GoPro going? Yes, Ben! All right, checkpoint 6A. Yeah. Now we start to climb, right? Water, electrolyte. Start to see the seven sisters. Yes, yeah, this is just, I know, man, I'm gonna get goosebumps. Yeah, there's a gorgeous spot a little higher up too. We just have to remember to look back because it becomes behind us.
There they are, the seven sisters. of hill training, I'm quite happy. Top of the world, ma. Top of the world, bro. beautiful views. It wouldn't be it, much better than this. It is spectacular up here, hey. Look, look at this. too windy to hear me but we are starting the descent What's your mantra? Be yeah. It's like made my day so wonderful. How's your day going? Fucking beautiful.
getting close to six Charlie. Maybe a little ways still, but we're getting there. No, it's not transition. This might be checkpoint. Oh, that's what I missed. Checkpoint. You found my friend Ann Marino again. <laughs> He's struggling a little. Blisters. Surviving. Still trying to make sure I hit that goal. <laughs> what was that goal again? 15. 15 hours. Checkpoint six, Charlie. Seven and a half K to TA six seven. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> you made it. All right, it's getting pretty dark. We are gonna head into the trees now. I am hoping. I can get this done without a headlamp, but I don't think so. It's in my bag, I just don't want to fish it out. All right, friends, that is a wrap of the Sinister 7 2023 Ultra Marathon. Michelle also had a fantastic race. Unfortunately, she did not take the GoPro out on the course, so I do not have footage. That's why you did not see any of her race. She finished her 50K in a little over 10 hours, but also had a spectacular story come out of that. If you're interested in reading more about Michelle's journey at the Sinister 7 50K, Hop on over to trailrunnerspov.com and you can read her full race report there. All right, my friend, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And the next up is the Canadian Death Race Near Death Marathon. Both Michelle and I will be running that one together. All right, friends, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.